going on, my Super Sandwiches? Rhyme Style here, and today I'm joined by Geek Dev for some Dragon Ball Super League talk. Do we call this a leak? Is this technically a leak? It could be. Uh, I wish I was there, but uh, at the yeah. place. But I'm happy to be back talking okay, about Dragon so, Ball Super for this possible spoiler. Okay, I'll just say this. So this is a partial spoiler. Basically, what happened was there was a anime convention going on. I believe in North Carolina. It was called Anime Amazement 2017. Anime Amazement. Yeah. In Amazement 2017. For some reason, uh, yeah, it was North Carolina. I'm looking at it right now. For some reason, uh, Linda Young and Ryusei Nakao, the voice actor for Frieza, were there. And Linda Young, to those who don't know, was the original uh, raspy Frieza voice from back in the original Dragon Ball Z series. Also well, famously known for her Genkai. Technically, she was the second Frieza. The first one was Pauline Newstone. Right, I right. I wanted to throw that out there. But most famously, she's uh, Genkai, one of the most amazing, perfect fits for Genkai. And yes. yeah, it's it's kind of weird to have her there, but again, it is what it is. Well, apparently, from whatever I said, she did a couple lines from Resurrection F, which is kind of cool to kind of hear that spin on it. So yeah, first and foremost, I want to say a big shout out to my homie to uh, Tommy, who was there, and he's the one who DM'd me right as it happened, and I saw on Twitter, uh, and I saw confirmation this indeed actually happened. But apparently, yes. and, uh, and let me give a shout out to Gravity Priest as well, because he's the one who put it out on Twitter as well. So they were both right. there. Right. So uh, it, it happened. It happened. So according to them, actually, do you want to say what happened? Uh, according to them, in the, an actual panel, Ryusei Nakao revealed something. Do you want to do you want to go ahead and drop that bomb? What what was actually revealed? Yeah, I'm gonna be transparent with everybody and take. I'm gonna tell you exactly what was said, like word for word. So. And by the way, like, don't take that. Uh, this is a leak. This is obviously a spoiler by a leak, but it could also be completely different when that series actually shows it, because, you know, there's translation errors and you know translation barriers. So. Just take it how you want for now, but go ahead. Well, it's also something that's not what people think it is either, but apparently, here's what was said, word for word. According to Nakao, the voice of Frieza, Frieza and Frost are going to meet and form a scheme in Super. Now, uh, that does not mean they're going to be teaming up. It does not mean they're going to have their own arc. It just means that somewhere during this big fight, this big Royal Rumble, the Tournament of Power, they're going to have some kind of interaction. Now, obviously, we knew it was going to happen because it's they could not do it. Yeah, so what I did... Yeah, so what I did was I actually asked Priest to do DMs. I'm going to be very transparent with everybody and tell you what I said. I was like, was he being serious when he said this about the scheme? And his response was something like that. Sounded like he said they had recorded the two of them having a conversation. And then I said, ha, ha, ha. So that's literally the, the what we got. So it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be teaming up and betraying right. their respective universes. But here's the way I'm seeing it. I'm thinking they're going to meet up. They're probably going to have a fight. They're going to have this weird respect because they realize that they are each other, uh, like Goku Black and Zamasu. And what they're probably going to do is something that we see a lot in Battle Royals and Pro Wrestling and Royal Rumbles, which is you've got two villains teaming up to take out a, a good guy or another villain. So, for example, because it's a big Royal Rumble, right? Let's say they're both having trouble getting rid of Kale. You could right. totally have a thing where they meet up and they talk to each other and for is like, listen, I'll come up from behind her, I'll distract her, you trip her out. Yep. And they yep, do exactly. that. And we're going to see tons of that in this tournament. Remember, everybody has to remember, this is every universe in there, and it would make sense to form alliances with other universes to take uh -huh. out other universes. So we could see something like Goku and Hit saying, hey, let's get together. Well, Goku would not do this because he's Goku, but let's say Krillin. Krillin and Basil, they could say, hey, yeah, this guy, uh, Kaba, he's really tough. Why don't we team up and get him out, and then you and I will fight later. You're going to see a lot of that, I think, in the tournament. I think you're going to see tons of that, especially from guys like yep. Frieza and Frost, who are both con artists, you know what I mean? They're both, I, you I know... I completely agree. That's, yeah. that, that's what I thought, too, when I when I first got... Well, no, my initial thought was they're scheming. Does that mean they're going to try to do something, escape, but then I realized there's no way they can do that. It's freaking the Omni King is there. There's nothing you can do to get around the Omni King. If you try to do something like try to run away or try to attack them, you'll get killed on the spot. It'll be stupid. It'll be foolish. So the way I figured this is, okay, well, then there's plan B where they, they kind of team up together to have each other's back there and turn up, but then at the end, they're probably going to betray each other. So the question I want to toss out there first is between Frost and Frieza, who is more likely, or this is going to be a really fun one to read in the comments, who is more likely to uh, betray who? Will Frost betray Frieza or the other way around? Let me know your thoughts in that comment section below. And actually, I want to ask you too, Geekdom, who you think would, if they were to betray each other, who would be uh, to betray the other person? I think Frost is probably a little more slimy, but I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I, I think Frost, <laughs> because I think Frieza, Frieza does not hide the fact that he's, you know, not a good person. You, you know right. what I'm saying? He doesn't uh -huh. hide that. Whereas, uh, you know, Frost does hide it and hit it for so many years. So I think out of the two of them, I do think that he's probably the slimier one of the two, you know. I gotta and go with Frieza. Is, really? Okay, why yep. is that? The yeah. reason why, 
is because it's Frieza. He's evil. He's a douche. He's like the definition of a prick. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like even though you can develop this special like you know relationship with you know Frost because they're in the same race basically, I, I feel like end of the day it doesn't matter if if that was even his dad. He'll probably shoot him down any second. I mean, how many times does Frieza kill his own men? Just just cause. All many the time. times. All yeah. The time. You're right. So. I feel You're like right. before Frost even has a chance to betray him, Frieza, like, okay, you know what? I'm done with you. You're dead. But at the same time, he did show interest of rebuilding the Frieza army back in his arc, you know, when he tried to recruit, you know, Vegeta. So there's also the possibility he might have that as an idea, and he might think, oh, well, you know what? Maybe I can recruit him. But at the same time, he technically only has, like, what, 24 hours for a tournament, technically? So I don't think there'll be, there's going to be any way around it unless they make a stipulation with, okay, if you win, you can come back to life. In which case, maybe then he might scheme something that's like, oh, you know what? If we survive, we beat this, we're teaming up together, which could also potentially be... It could be an arc in the future. But again, it's a yeah. very, very small what if, depending on what the situation is. Because again, we still don't know why Frieza is going to come back and, or what the deal he is given. Honestly, what I think is going to happen is because Goku has been an idiot and has been bribing everybody, I feel like what they're going to tell him is, look, look, man, if you join, you get a wish. And I feel like Frieza's wish is obviously going to come back to life, in which case it could set up something in the future. Now, again, that's not, that's not saying anything. That's just how I perceived it. Uh, well, Super Dragon happen. Balls only give you one wish, though. They do, but I'm, I'm sure they'll figure out a way to distribute it or something. I mean, if Goku's going around giving everybody a wish, uh, I, technically the Super Dragon Balls I are... I wish are, for more wishes. Yeah, technically the Dragon Balls are... Uh, the Super Dragon Balls are rule-free. So if you say, hey, I wish everyone's wish is true from Universe 7, technically would that work? I don't really know. I, I, I think it would, yeah, actually. We'll talk about that later. That's a video for the future, but for now, like, I'm trying to like analyze it from the perspective of like how Frieza is. And again, if Frieza is serious about recruiting, you know, um, for the future, Frost could be a great right-hand man. But at the same time, it's Frieza, and I can see him just kill him easily on the spot. And, like, thing is, is if Frost is to take out Frieza and betray him, he'll, he'll have to kill him. And he does have his poison and stuff, although he can't bring his poison, so he won't even have that. But then again, it's Frost. I could also see him try to tuck something else underneath the sleeves that can, you know, be used against anybody. But I don't know. End of the day, I feel like Frieza is more slimier than Frost because he doesn't try to hide it. And if there's anything that Frost tries to do, he'll kill him on the spot. Our friend real to real made a very good um, prediction here about something like this. He thought that maybe if Frieza and Frost do team up and Frieza does betray him. This is actually, he made this this uh, prediction, you know, weeks ago, actually, before this even came out. Uh -huh. He thinks that might actually, in a way, turn Frost into kind of a good character. Or like a, uh, you know, a kind of a, not a good guy, but like a sympathetic character. So maybe Frost might actually change his ways. In other words... Frieza might be so evil that right. he might convince Frost to be a, a decent dude. We don't know, like I said, but the thing I want to definitely make clear based on the information we got is it was kind of a throwaway line by Nakao. We know they're yeah. going to interact, but we don't know if they're... I don't think this means that Frieza and Frost are going to betray their respective teams because Beerus and Champa will just wipe or just hawk exactly. them. Exactly. It's not going to be that, but yeah, it'll be probably a temporary, you know, I guess team up. It would look great in the tournament. I think that would right, be a right. great little thing to see. Yeah, I agree. But I mean, ultimately, we, we don't know what happens, and it's kind of important to, you know, I get to stamp down the disclaimer, because I'm sure once this, this gets on all the websites and everybody starts reporting on it, people will start saying stuff like, oh, this scheme and up, this is going to be a feature arc. Just keep in mind what uh, Ryusei Nakao said is just, you know, one small sentence. It does not, you know, reveal He literally anything. said they're just going to talk. Like, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything, you know? Yeah, and it's easy to take that, and once you throw in a language barrier to assume a lot of things. I personally like the idea that, you know, Frost and Frieza are interacting. You know, when they reveal Frost back in Universe 6, my first thought was like, oh, how badass would be if one day we get that actual interaction and we're actually getting it. So that's really cool. So again, the way me and Geekman see it is, is they're just going to team up. If they team up, they'll team up in a way where they have that mutual respect for each other within the actual tournament where they won't kill each other. But then in the end, you know, they'll try to take each other out. In which case, again, the question I'll ask you guys, the viewers, is who would take out who first? Who would be the betrayer first and why? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And two, I guess, what is your spin on it? What do you think the scheming actually means if, you know, they end up scheming something? Do you think that they're trying to do something like, you know, a great scheme of things that are trying to like get out of the tournament, rebuild the army, just to team all together. Or do you think I think it's just gonna be, different? yeah, I think it's gonna be a temporary team up in the tournament. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. Ba basically, feel free to discuss it down below. But uh, for the most part, that's everything. So, Geek them is there anything else you want to toss in there before we end this video? I think it's just gonna be a cool thing to just have them interact and talk and um, and seeing them team up against like a Kale or somebody it could be one of the universe four like or we're universe three like uh robotic humans i think that would be just fun to watch as well i think it'll be fun to see that right. you know have them talk about what? how much they hate saiyans i mean there's all you kinds know, of stuff they could they could have here you know what i like is the fact that uh frost is going to see frieza go gold 
And I think that could potentially yes. set up something in the future where he realizes, oh my mm. gosh, I have that same potential. I could do that too. And maybe we can get a Golden Frost some point in the future. Like, the way this Very series possible. is setting up Dragon Ball Super is there's so much unlimited content to come. Uh, I mean, for example, Vegeta can go to Planet Sadal still. We, we all want to see that. You know, seeing Frost go as far as gold and get some kind of revenge against everybody in Universe 6, including people in Universe 7. Like, there's so much stuff you can do with the series, and I feel like every time they set these small things up, it's for a potential possibility in the future. So, fingers crossed there that we do Dragon see Dragon Ball kind of... Room. Yep. Exactly, right. the Dragon Room. With that said, though, I guess that's that's everything. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below on what this interaction between Frost and Freezer could mean. Again, who betray who? Anything else you want to toss in there, feel free to do so down below. Anyways, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. This has been Geekdom and Rhyme Style, and we'll see you guys next time.